Madam Speaker, my dear, dear colleagues in the American family, good afternoon. Let me begin, Madam Speaker, by thanking you for the opportunity for all of us to gather today and for this occasion to properly contextualize for history the events of January 6, 2021. For me, January 6 will forever be known as a day of remembrance, reflection, and recommitment. I remember waking up that morning tense but excited, excited to participate and witness the certification of Delaware's first American president. It was the culmination of a hard-fought campaign in the midst of a historic pandemic. I, know, I had no idea that the safest, most secure election of our lifetime would on that day turn into a violent insurrection. January 6 for me will forever be a day to remember how the light of acts of courage, small and large, defeated darkness. Heroes, staffers, uh, custodians, police. I will remember those who quite literally gave their lives a day of reflection. I reflect on that day being trapped in the gallery, ultimately praying for all of our safety and peace in our nation. I also reflect on just how close, how close we were to losing it, to losing our democracy. Those of us trapped in the gallery, we lived it, ducking, crawling, under, over railings, hands, knees, the sounds, the smells. We had a front row seat to what lies, hate, or plain old misinformation conjures. We went from victims to witnesses, and today we are messengers. We reflect on the fact that January 6th was about so much more than an effort to break into a building. It was an effort to break down our institutions. And I must admit to you, my colleagues, that over this past year, um, there have been times when I felt that justice was not swift enough. I felt sad, I felt mad, I felt bewildered that some minim minimize the day and continue to minimize it. But we don't give up. Because in the words of poet William Cullen Bryant, and quoted by Martin Luther King, truth crushed to earth shall rise. Truth crushed to earth shall rise. So, on this day, let us recommit to our democracy and to each other. On the day that I was sworn into Congress, as many of my colleagues know, um, I was the first African-American and the first woman from the state of Delaware elected to Congress, and I carried this scarf with me. It marked uh, an X that my great-great-great-grandfather used to sign this Returns of Qualified Voter Registration of 1867 in Georgia. I also carried it on the day of the insurrection because it is my proof of what we have overcome. And it is my inspiration for what is yet to be done as we work towards a more perfect union. I continue to have hope even when I feel hopeless because my ancestors would have it no other way. And because scripture tells us that weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. And while I remember a great deal that day, what I remember most is walking back onto the House floor, into the chamber that morning to complete our work, the morning when democracy prevailed. Remember, reflect, recommit.